Right, we've got time to do two more things. So I'm gonna show you how a deal stacks, or how to look and know how a deal stacks. So, how a deal stacks. So here's, here's something I do. So if you were, say, uh, bought a property for 60 grand, uh, let's say uh, stamp due is 3%, so 3% of 60 is 1,800. So that's for our stamp. Can you see that? So that's stamp, 1,800. Uh, let's say we've got solicitor's fees, 1,000 pounds for ease of maths. Uh, let's say we've got uh, valuation, Let's say that's a thousand pound for ease of maths. Uh, and let's say it needs a two thousand pound renovation, a light paint. So, um, so a light renovation, we're gonna say two thousand pounds. So light renovation, LR, evaluation, solicitors, stamp. So we add them all up. So we go uh, 61,000, 800, 62,800, 63,800, 65,800. Sixty-five thousand eight hundred is our total figure. So, what you need to do now to know if the deal stacks is if you go on Right Move, there's a there's a thing, there's a tab. You can search sold prices. Now, it's essential that you find sold prices. Don't ever look at what they're on the market for because it doesn't mean anything. There's no hard evidence. And everything that I do, everything that I teach is hard facts. So you've got to make sure you've got the facts. So if you go on right move, you can go sold prices. And if you put the postcode in of that street, you can check what the houses have been selling for. So I'm going to show you a calculation. Uh, okay. So if we know that, say, property, uh, we can get a mortgage, sorry, for a 75% LTV. So if we can get a mortgage of a 75% LTV, that means that's the amount the mortgage company will put in. So if they're putting 75, you need to put in 25. So once you've got your total figure, you've added up the, the price you've been told you can get it for. So you've been negotiating your, uh, and you believe you can get it for 60 grand. You've worked out your stamp, your solicitors, valuation, light renovation. <clears throat> you are at 65,800, which is that all totaled up there. Now, there's an equation which I use and uh, I made this up myself. It's nothing less than fucking genius, if I say so myself. So if you divide that figure by the loan of value, so all we do is we divide it by 0.75 equals, we end up with that amount there. And that amount is 87,733. 87,000. 733. So you might be thinking, what the fuck's that figure? Let me tell you. So that was the total amount. This is the amount now because we divided. So all this we did is we got that figure there. So I'll do it again. So 65,800. So 65,800. And then I just divided it by 0.75 equals 87,733. Now, what this figure gives us, this bottom figure here, that's the amount they have to be selling for on the street in order for you to be able to recycle all your money back out. So if they're selling for 87,733 as an average on the street, you know now you've bought it 25% below market value, meaning you can remortgage it at the end of the year 
and you can pull all of your money back out again. So you've got your deposit to go again on another property. And that's how I recycle my money. So you don't need all of this money for deposits like people think you do. If you've got enough to raise for one deposit, or we go back a step and you raise uh, money by getting creative, using bridging finance, and then you've created your money back out of the deal, that money you gained can now buy property too. And we just stack them like that. We just roll them two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and that's how I've managed to put 77 different properties in my portfolio. Yeah.